For the Democratic Party machine, however, there can never be success. There always has to be a new appended wrong or violation, some new campaign to convince you that victimhood will never end, and you must always resent, well, everybody, including those who may think differently or simply disagree politically with you. That is the racist, sexist, and homophobic position, as they perpetuate the lie that the targeted groups, women, people of color, and gays, will always be victims and can never become equal, willing partners in society. It's insulting, it's damaging, and limiting. Americans see each other as neighbors, friends, and colleagues, as opposed to the malicious other, is to Democrats as water is to the wicked witch. The melting of the left is already occurring, and in their panic, all they can do is to appeal to the worst in people. President Trump's outreach to black, Hispanic, and gay Americans is something the Democrats have never faced before from the Republican machine and its previous next-in-line candidates. Now the Democratic Party's big play during their 2020 presidential primary season is to distract their base by telling them they are owed something by everyone else while stoking hatred of the president against the country and now even neighbor against neighbor.